Well, uh, not uh, the night, because um, the night is where everything uh, happens, the big things where you are inspired when you, after a long day, you are alone in front of you. When you are thinking about the future, when you are thinking about the past, when you are connected with your emotions. Uh, before going to the bed, before going to dream, you are dreaming awake. And uh, for me, it's a good place of time to to generate my imaginary. Well, I pretend to do a trip between uh, the intimate, the, the house, uh, going through the recording studio where all the ideas are landing in the reality and from the recording studio jumping to the cinema where the music uh, completes its trip, you know? Yeah. And at the end coming back to the house where everything comes out. The first meeting with Arthur Barreto, it's been amazing. I mean, first with the dancers, now with the artistic staff. Well, it's a familiar company where they allowed me to dream, to be myself, to be whoever I want to, to be, and creating and getting inspired and being moved by all the options that they are offering me. For me, it's an honor to also work in Italy. And as you know, it's my, my country and uh, yeah, I'm feeling very um, well. My way of movement in different pieces are changing. I don't want to be victim of my style. My style is developing and changing and adapting to a different situations. And I like to face this project differently, as I made all the time, with my vocabulary, with my universes, with my way of understanding the motion and, and the stage. But always open to the surprises, always open to discover new faces of me. Uh, I, it's amazing to have the opportunity to do the piece with live music and without. It's not my first time working with big orchestras and I think it's very beautiful when the live music happens at the same time like the dance. This magical connection that is happening just now in front of you I think is unique and um, yes for me it's uh, very uh, amazing to, to have this option to work with live music in the future in St. Polten and in other stages. And yeah, I think it's gonna be the same piece, but even more intense when you have the musicians just in front of you. Yeah. I understand that for the big audience, uh, his music is attached to the image, to the movies, no? You cannot isolate that. But my question is, yes, what happens if you do it? Because his music is uh, timeless, is connected to the memories, is connected to one part of the history of the cinema, no? And I want to, to try to connect these vibes with his personal life, his intimate life, how he was fighting all his life against the idea of he was a composer, a musician, a trumpetist, by the way, doing music, making music for movies. And the teacher of him was like, why are you doing music for movies? Like if doing music for movies is something less important, no? And he lived his life fighting against that, no? But at the end he realized that his mission and his legacy to this world was amazing because his music is connected to the movies, but it's also connected to the memories of all the viewers, all the spectators, all the audience. And uh, it's beautiful how that at the end, uh, maybe too late, Hollywood uh, offers him the Oscar, no? He has two Oscars. And uh, I think it was too late. And uh, I want to, in one way, celebrate uh, the legacy that he offers to us, to the artist, to the people. And thanks to that, I can get inspired to create this piece, but not only this piece, to live, to face my life, remembering his movies. If, you, if I'm thinking in Cinema Paradiso, I'm thinking in my life. It's like a mirror where I can see, or I see Once Upon a Time in America, or another kind of uh, movies, everything is talking about different periods of my life. When I was very young, even things that I was not 
yet in this world, but my parents mentioned it. And yeah, I was very close to his movies from very early. I think uh, I like to avoid always the cliches, but uh, at the same time I like to play with them. And uh, yeah, we are in a recording studio, we are in a cinema, we are at home. And Italy will be around, Italy will be present for sure. Uh, how? Let's see. But I love this country and I uh, very well connected to this uh, story, literature, music, cinema. Uh, photography, uh, artist, and Morricone is one of them. And uh, I don't want to do a biopic where everything is Morricone, Morricone, Morricone. I want Morricone is in the center of the image, but we are talking about more. We are talking about music, we are talking about art, we are talking about inspiration, we are talking about um, creativity, and all for me is the most important thing.